hello guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to talk about the bachelor episode two yes i am back again and like i said the last time this back huh maybe this tv you're just gonna see this for one last time and after you will not be able to see it. i am moving out of this place so compared to last video let's try not to go let's not spend 30 minutes or 45 minutes while we talk about the bachelor let's make this quick episode two of the bachelor so we have the girl chat we see the girl talking about last night the fact that they haven't got a chance to talk to all the guys so they see they we still have like uh 29 guy left since three people were saying home remember the start of the season with 32 people three people were saying home the twin was saying home and the magician was saying home today is actually the day that the bachelor starts because they haven't had the chance to do to half of the guy they still don't know and we still don't know that much about them besides the profile picture that we listen to that so many times now it's time for them to try to connect with each of the guys so they came up with the idea i don't know if they came up with the idea or the producer came up with the idea but they want to make us believe that Rachel and Gabby came up with the idea of like having like a pageant show. They sent like the present to the guys so a few speedo and I don't know a little bit of few items that they have to like showcase the talent. And also I think that IJ they came up with that IJ because it was literally pouring outside. It was raining so much. Come up with something like that would be a best way to like start the day. And everybody got a chance to participate to say something about this. So answer a few questions so they have all the 29 guys they show a lot a bunch of them they, they show logan they show Ned, they show jacob and russian gabby asked a question to johnny if you can kiss one of us who really kisses say i kiss both of you <laughs> and he gave her a kiss like, on the cheeks both of them individually that was kind of cute well, after the talent show so the girl have to choose like a few guys that they will have like a cup tie a little date with them to like to get to know them the six people that they chose that will be part of this day we have evan we have logan we have brandon the 23 year old brandon we have jason we have johnny and we have colin but those are the six people went on a small date in the evening with rachel and gabby and so the girl have like a little cup tie up the hour they have a little day with each of them i have a one-on-one -on -one with jason as soon as she started talking to jason jason tell her that i am here from gabby but he was really polite about that that he wanted to form a connection with gabby she kind of rejected but she appreciated that he told him he told her very quietly so yeah so rachel also talked to all the guys she goes to brandon but she feel like i feel like i'm talking with one of my cousins she said she didn't feel the connection with brandon she didn't feel the connection with colin she was talking to all those guys she didn't feel any co any much connection the only person she have a connection with beside evan you know beside evan that was logan she really appreciated the time they didn't show i talk to evan but she talked to logan she have a connection with logan they actually they share kids and logan went to talk to gabby he also have a connection with gabby they share kids i'm like logan is playing the field it's like both way <laughs> he still haven't decided who is one of them he really like like try to get to know them individually before he chose like who is want to like spend more time with gabby and Rachel also talked before they hand up the host because in this day they're gonna hand up two hosts uh Rachel says she's interested in logan gabby also says she's interested in logan i love the way gabby handled the situation so she didn't like arguing with Rachel. they were like it's okay like the way she was talking it's like it's okay so now we're not gonna fight over a guy like oh she didn't like because she was also interested in logan they both could have gave the host to logan who knows <laughs> yeah so they just handled the situation calmly like they are both best friends and they will figure that later Rachel gave her host to Logan and Gabby gave her host to jo Johnny because she also had a good connection with Johnny, you know. Um, now it's time for the one on one. Like JC said, we're gonna have two one on one in this week. It's such a fun day with Jordan and Rachel. I really appreciate the day. They did went so well during the day. They do everything that you do during the day. They kiss, they have a connection. 
or so we thought. Don't you want it even in part of the date now? This is where everything can start to crumble, so we don't know exactly what's going on here. Um, let's just say Jordan is perfect. Jordan was talking about his family, he was arguing about. I didn't really hear the conversation, I apologize for that, but the way he was talking, you can feel it's so kind, it's so general. So he was talking, let's just feel like she want to like him, like she. She she excused herself, she talked to the producer. She says she really, really wanted to like him. He asked the quality that she wanted, but there's something is missing. So she was kind of sad about that. She was crying about that. She doesn't know what's going on. She doesn't know what's missing, but there's something that's not there in the connection. Yeah, and she said it's not him, so she doesn't know what's going on. So she stayed there, she talked to the police after she came back, she talked to Jordan and she sent him home. I'm like, poor Jordan. Yeah. We were all surprised. When we saw Jordan, Jordan and I, we really thought it would be like the favorite. We totally thought it was going to go very far with Rachel, but I don't know. You, I don't know. Maybe there's no chemistry. Like, I got trying to say, there is no chemistry. You yeah, don't want a perfect one for me. Hey, 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 hey. You were almost my mistake. Almost. I don't know. I <laughs> just love that song. He was the perfect guy. I don't know what happened. What was going on? I don't know. He was almost a Mr. Almost. Oh, so we thought all of us, when they came to try to take the luggage of Charlie and all the men were so surprised. They like some of the men said we thought ninety five percent that he was gonna come home. They could imagine Jordan leaving. I could imagine Jordan leaving. Nobody could imagine Jordan going home so quick. Ah, he was almost. I will miss the almost. Ah, hopefully we get to see him again. But that Russian father, whatever, he's such a great guy. I'm pretty sure good things coming for him in his life. Whether it's in this bachelor franchise or in his future. <sighs> almost our Mr. Almost. Okay, so we have the girl child again. Rachel is talking to Gabby about her date. So she see that she has a she he he was so great, but she felt like something was missing and she will give it advice to Gabby to really like she Rachel even say that she's not yet to be the bachelor, she's yet to be Rachel, she really follow. Her heart, like every connection that she made, she want to be true to herself. So she was giving advice to Gabby to really take in consideration what she wanted to see if there's a connection in her in her date. Who, whoever Gabby would choose for her date. So okay, let's jump in there. Gabby have a one on one. The boy are all sitting there. The date guy is here, and uh, who's the person got to choose? It's my favorite. My favorite. I'm so happy Nate got a one-on-one, -on -one. such a great guy. So even even before his one-on-one, -on -one, if you saw like the beginning of the episode, you see this interaction with all the other guys, you can tell he's a great guy. And I'm sure he's become, I'm pretty sure a lot of people, Nate going to become like a fan favorite when people watch and comment about this episode because he was my favorite and I'm glad he's such a great guy. He has such a great attitude and he has fed others. So, Overall, a great guy. She have a date with Nate, and the date guy say, "Meet me in my house." So Nate go to Gab, uh, to Gabby house. Rachel is there. Rachel's like the third wheel. I feel bad for Rachel. Oh my God, poor Rachel. The, before she have a one on one, even during like the date that they have with the six guys, she felt like there was no much connection, and she have a one on one. It was kind of disappointing because. Thing was not going her way. I'm like, oh, poor Rachel. And now she's seeing Nate and Gabby. Nate and Gabby, the connection is great. How the way she kind of feel bad, she said, but she's happy for Gabby. She's happy for Gabby to have a connection with Nate. They pretty much took the helicopter, they fly around LA, they see all different places. They have like chemistry, they kiss in the helicopter so many times. So they fly in front on the top of the uh dimension that and all the other guys saw that they always do that they always fly on the top of the mansion to show up to the other guy oh see we are here we are here it's always happened <laughs> yeah the date portion was so beautiful they have good chemistry the date was nice i love it 
and you want a night portion of the day we have gabby and ned ned open up to gabby about the fact that he's the dad he have a six six year old daughter and gabby receptive to that she says she also close to her dad she talk about the fact that she's not really close with her mom but she's very close to her dad yeah it was a good date i really it was so beautiful i love the fact that they are dancing at the end even though there was no music but it was so cute oh it's such a beautiful day i really appreciate that so we are in this whole ceremony or uh, the cocktail hour not the whole ceremony yet during the cocktail hour i forgot to mention that chris was talking about the fact that it would be okay if we get to like the fantasy suite if one if like the girl is connected we have an intimate relationship with another another man it wouldn't be okay with that i'm like i kind of feel like i understand he gave his ultimate and first of all it's way too early to do that sicko who was it's like like her she said it's a little bit like you it's like shaming the girl because if you watch the season and you know what happened last season and say something like that is also be inconsiderate to the other people right did you just come here to cause drama or did you here to actually try to have a connection with them you are like literally like gabby say i never even talked to him it's literally the second that you already raise your consent that you don't want your future wife to be have a connection with another person I'm like that's too soon if you were getting to that time it's like 25 guys right you, if you would if it was something serious to you you can talk directly to Gabby and Russian talking to the guy in the house first is to create drama right and the way you're talking is kind of like it's been condescending and I didn't appreciate that I'm really disappointed like I thought this case would be different from Carl. At least Carl lasts longer. I thought it would be bring something, mentality, culture, whatever. I thought it would do something different. Like I wanted this season to prove me how about like mentality, culture, whatever. Gosh, every time they come to the to the season, they always cause stupid drama like that. So I kind of disappointed Chris. I didn't expect. I, I expected him to be like this, but I didn't. I wanted him to surprise me, so no wonder he's his own favorite author. I really wanted him to surprise me in a different way, but he didn't surprise me. He was exactly what I thought he was gonna be in this season, so I kind of disappointed with that for me, hoping that he would do something different. And Quincy, our new Aaron, and maybe Quincy was coached by Aaron, I don't know. Quincy was talking to Jordan and Hayden. They were talking about the Chris attitude about the girl in the fantasy suite. He's talking about like girls to 25 men plus. It's literally the second week of the bachelorette. Quincy went to bring Rachel. They talk about that. And Rachel went to bring Gabby. And yeah, she... And, and they talked to Chris, and Chris, the way he talked to them, that was nice as well. Instead of talking to her, he was still saying those things. And Gabby and Rachel say it was a good time for him to go home, okay? So they sang, you know, he just asked, just, so I just go this way? Yeah, you're supposed to go. They send you home. Okay, when they finish with him, he go out high, he enter the house, he say, you, 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 you. And he also say, and he also call Ned. Maybe he wanted Ned to resign the other guy because you remember during the day when they have some kind of argument, Ned was there like to kind of like talk to them. It's like the person who kind of create harmony in the house. So he called Hayden, he called Quincy, he called Jordan, he called Ned, and he called somebody else. He said, "Here's your hand who talk about me. And so the guy is I'm like, serious, what are you do? Yeah, when the girl came back, I said, what's going on here? Gabby Alicia says, it's time for you to go because I don't know what you're trying to do here. They're already sending you home. Whatever you're doing now, it's not gonna matter to them. You're just gonna create some drama that's unnecessary. That's gonna make you look bad on TV. So they saying home. Um, now it's time for the whole ceremony. Okay, I have to finish this quickly. So the whole ceremony. I don't know. Maybe twenty. Uh, okay, let's do this. The math. Twenty nine people. Right. 
three people have the rules okay minus two people got some that is 24 people right you have 24 people and we have to give some rules jc came and announced the fact that so both girls gonna give rules so it's not time yet for the like the host that Gabby gonna give, or we say that, that means you have to stay with Gabby, you have to push with Gabby, or Rachel gonna give. Right now, they are both giving roles, and the roles mean that both of them just still like are interested to get to know. So, in the whole ceremony, we have Jason got a role from Gabby, Aaron got a role from Rachel, Eric from Gabby, Zach for Rachel, Jordan is from Gabby, Quincy for Rachel. Michael for Gabby, Tino from Russia, Jacob from Gabby, Tyler for Russia, Tamen from Gabby, Helen for Russia, Milbo from Gabby, <laughs> Queen, Kurt from Russia, Spencer from Gabby, Ali from Russia, Aiden from Gabby, and Mario got a horse for Russia. Mario, well, Mario was Gabby first impression rose. He didn't get a horse for Gabby. I don't know. He didn't get a chance to talk to Gabby this week. And the only connection that he made was like during the night portion of the day, the cocktail hour. He was like showing her like some exercise, lifting her, playing at her. She was kind of happy. She said she was interested in Mario night one. We, did, we, were not, we were not aware of that. I'm glad he actually made a small connection relation who allowed him to get a post because I don't know, maybe the connection with Gabby didn't go so well or maybe Gabby saw the way he was entered to reverse it. I will never know. It's too early to tell what's actually when or why he didn't receive like an early host from Gabby. Okay, thank you so much for watching this episode. So far, like I said, let me summarize this again. 29 guy, right? Minus the two guy who got who went home early. And then Chris went home. That means me seven guy. And now a few people got sent home. Ryan got sent home. Brian got sent home. The cheater John got sent home. Colin went home. And the ship is the kitty. Matt got sent home. And I don't know who else got sent home. Yeah, at least six people went home. So I think right now there are about like 21 people left. On the shore. I think so. I don't know. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad this video is like 22 minutes. That means when I wake up, it's going to be less than that. Thank you so guys. Have a wonderful day and see you in my new home next week. Bye.